Hi guys, I am just gonna do a quick video today on how to make your own smudge spray or clarifying spray or love spray or all of those sprays that people sell that you could actually easily make in your own home. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do first is figure out what type of spray you're making. Now I'm making a clearing spray um, and also uh, not only for like, um, just clearing the energies out of the air, but also uh, um, like mental psychic clarity spray for when I um, go places that um, someone needs a channel or somebody uh, like a relative is gonna come through. I've found um, that dill works well for that for me. Um, so I'm using uh, tricolor sage and dill, and I'm gonna put uh, some obsidian in it as well, but it's whatever um, speaks to you and works for you is what you should use best. Um, so I have uh, my glass jar that I've already got some sage in. Um, and all you need to use is rubbing alcohol actually because you're not looking to, um, this isn't something you spray in your mouth, you're actually looking to break down um, the, the alcohol's present um, medicinally, naturally in the actual herb or uh, plant plant piece so that um, so it actually uh, comes out when you spray. Now the plus of this is of course you could spray like um, this would be like an antibacterial spray as well for like your steering wheel or anything that wouldn't like totally melt from plastic. Um, now you can put essential oils in this as well but I found um, that I personally like to do it with just the plant uh, parts because it will it will take on the scent of the plant. Um, as the alcohols in the plant actually break down. So um, you can choose to do that or not. It's, it's really whatever you prefer. And the alcohol will actually dissipate um, as you spray. It's just a carrier for that. So I have my jar. You're just gonna wanna uh, leave it empty until you get some uh, plant material. Now, of course, um, you are gonna wanna uh, be grateful for the plant. Um, if that is your thing, I practice Buddhism, so I, I'm thankful to the plant um, for the sacrifice for my smudge spray. My plants are very well loved, so don't worry about that. And then you're just going to tear the plant parts. Um, it doesn't have to be exact, just to get them, um, you know, however you feel is right, pretty much. I'm going to have some dill here. I'm just going to break some of this apart. And shove it in there. So I got that all shoved in here, um, and I'm just gonna stick my obsidian in. Now, of course, if you're making like uh, a love spray, you could use like lavender and rose quartz, or if you're making like a healing spray, you could use like a rosemary um, and maybe some jade or something. Um, now, this can also be actually sprayed on the body. So if you're making a healing spray, uh, you could use like peppermint or lemon balm or anything in the mint family is very healing. Um, and then you can actually spray that on your um, areas uh, that need hurting. And then you'll not only get the energy of the plant, but also the medicinal qualities of the plant. So it's like a double plus. Um, and you just want to seal it up. And um, like every day, just flip it over. Um, I like to cover my my plant material completely with the alcohol um, and actually after you do this for about a month um, if you can see like right away it'll start to turn color I don't know if you guys can see that so it'll start taking on the compounds of the actual plant um, so it's medicinal and energetic and you can actually leave this out in the Sun um, if you want to have some Sun energies in there or leave it out in your uh, favorite phase of the moon um, now I'm if you care about moon phases, I am uh, harvesting my things during, you know, after the new moon, so uh, energies are increasing. So I, I've trimmed my plants at an increasing stage um, because I want them to increase from the cottage. Uh, but you don't have to get that technical. It's whatever works for you. Um, and after a month, you'll find it really, really green. You just want to transfer it to uh, any kind of spray bottle. Um, I prefer to use recycled bottles that you use for something else, but you use whatever you need to use. Um, you could put the rocks um, in the spray bottle as well. 
but I do take out the plant um, compounds after that time. I found that, you know, everything that's going to come out of them by that time will have come out of them. Um, and you don't want to clog up your spray bottles. So um, that is an easy way to make your own um, energetic and medicinal spray. Now, um, if I'm using Clary, if I was just using the Tricolor Sage, this could actually be like an excellent spray uh, for like a, a facial antiseptic um, as well. So you can, you know, easily online look into the medicinal property of herbs um, to see what other than smudging it's good for. But um, if you're just using it for energetic purposes, um, it's amazing. Plus with COVID, you know, you can, uh, you can sterilize a lot of objects too. All right, well, I cannot wait uh, to hear what you guys make <laughs> for uh, sprays. And uh, let me know in the boxes, uh, the comment boxes, if you guys use this and you found something better than uh, others, or if you have any questions about herbs and rocks. I am not a total expert, but I, I did go to school for geology, so I do love my rocks. And it doesn't have to be a fancy rock. It's whatever rock speaks to you. All the time I use rocks, um, that I just pick up from the beach or pick up around if, if you're drawn to a rock like that is a rock for you and that's a rock that you need to use at this time so just um, have a have trust in that so thanks guys and have a great day